welcome to safety guidelines my name is fahim azam and i shall share an informative video about basic safety tips on construction site table of contents for this video are fire safety on job site heavy equipments and crane operations with rigging equipments okay let's talk about fire safety on job site to understand fire we must know the fire triangle i mean heat fuel and oxygen fire erupts if all three ingredients are there if one of the factors is controlled fire can be extinguished fire preventive guidelines firstly i shall discuss the preventive measures so the fire shall not ignite take the following precautions to prevent ignition of materials lubricants and fuels used at job sites and work locations check electrical equipments regularly for defects do not smoke or use mobile phones or other electrical devices not classified as intrinsically safe while refueling equipment next step is segregate welding equipment asphalt kettles heating appliances and other open flames or hot surfaces from flammable and combustible materials minimize the storage of class a fire material for example paper and wood in process and electrical areas inspect and test all fire detection for example smoke detectors and alarms and fire protection for example fire extinguisher and fire monitors equipment per local fire department requirements do not use gasoline as a cleaning agent do not use plastic containers for collecting hydrocarbon samples do not keep or store fuels in plastic containers use jerry cans also tag them for contents now we shall discuss about response procedure in case of a fire if you see a fire sound an alarm and if there is a if the alarm is not available call for help you have to shout even and say fire 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 operate fire extinguishers and equipment only if you are trained in their use ensure that all personnel are evacuated per the local emergency per response plan isolate all fuel sources and are threatened facilities and close doors do not fight fires beyond the initial stage or beyond your level of training locate the fire fighting equipment and approach the fire from the upwind side never operate an extinguisher in such a manner that any part of your body is located directly above the fill cap test the extinguisher before attempting to extinguish the fire after the fire is extinguished please stand by to make sure the fire does not start again our next topic is heavy equipments here are some of the heavy equipments being used on construction sites apply the following safety precautions when operating mobile heavy equipments such as but not limited to front end loaders backhoes excavators boom trucks and roller compactors 
Now we will discuss about safe operations of heavy equipment. Operate heavy equipment only if certified as per the requirements of proponent or government for that specific equipment. Identify all utilities and lines and notify appropriate parties before beginning any digging or excavation work. Do not operate gasoline or diesel powered equipment inside the building. Use battery operated equipment. Ensure that ground personnel maintain a safe distance from operating equipment and establish eye contact with the operator before approaching. Do not jump from the equipment to the ground when exiting. Ride or work only on parts of the equipment that are specifically designed for personnel. Designate a spotter or a signal map man when visibility is obstructed and there is a risk of the equipment coming into contact with assets or personnel. Wear high visibility that is reflective fluorescent vest and use whistle when performing the duties of a spotter. Latch and secure all parts of equipment before traveling. For example, excavator or backhoe booms down bodies. Do not operate mechanical excavators within 3 meter of any pipeline or cable. Do not leave heavy equipment unattended while its engine is running. Shut off engines, apply parking brake and choke wheels when equipment is left unattended. In including overnight. Lower any blades, buckets, scraper, balls and other hydraulic equipment to the ground when it is left unattended. Remove ignition keys to prevent startup by unauthorized personnel. Dismount from equipment while maintenance or repair work is being performed unless otherwise instructed stop and deactivate equipment prior to performing repairs do not sleep or rest under or near heavy equipment Let's talk about equipment condition. Ensure all heavy equipment has a functioning audible backup alarm. Maintain heavy equipment in good operating condition including a functional seat belt. Keep all cap glass clean without obstruction or damage. Ensure cap glass is constructed of say safety glass. Ensure material handling equipment for example, bulldozer, loaders and scrappers is equipped with a rollover protective structure that is called ROPS. Our next topic is crane operations and rigging equipment. First, I will discuss crane operations. Do not operate a crane unless you are certified. Communicate details of any crane lifts to the affected personnel in the area of operation. Use universal hand or radio signals for communication between the designated signal man and crane operator. Do not obstruct the crane operator's line of sight to the designated signal man. Keep all cap glass clean without obstruction. That is, curtains, cardboard are not allowed to avoid sunlight. Replace if cap glass is damaged. Cap glass must be of a safety glass. Do 
use tag lines to control all suspended loads except when their use may create a greater hazard do not side load that is be sure to center the hook directly over the load avoid suspending loads over personnel equipment or traffic areas know the accurate weight of all loads and lifting gear prior to the lift do not leave the crane cab unattended while a load is suspended unless the load is properly secured to a load bearing structure member position lower hydraulic crane booms and secure the hook while traveling do not perform crane lifts at wind speed above 32 km per hour or 20 miles per hour unless otherwise specified by the manufacturer use fully extended outriggers with appropriate float pads and mats when performing crane lifts note that do not permanently secure mats to the outriggers secondly i will discuss rigging practices and inspections use accepted rigging techniques while lifting loads use only rigging equipment that is rated for the load being lifted avoid sharp bends in slings and protect slings from sharp edges and abrasions do not modify repair shorten or lengthen slings note that verify that the manufacturer's safe working load that is called swl and serial number are clearly marked on each sling completely close bolt shackles and other connecting devices do not use homemade fasteners or other rigging hardware inspect slings and other rigging hardware per applicable standards using a certified rigger maintain a job site log of slings that identifies the sling and periodic inspection results record defective slings in the log and remove them pro- promptly from the job site thank you for watching my video i appreciate those who have subscribed my channel and if you have not subscribed yet please click the subscribe button share like and comment on my video and press the bell icon to receive notifications see you in the next video till then Have a good time. Bye.